Contact here, fish finder. Go ahead, fish finder. I have visual on multiple insurgents south of LRP Butler on a rooftop. That might be the AQI headquarters we've been searching for. Roger, I'll get third squad tasked to clear them out. Far left, far left, hang on, I'm hit. They can cover. Woo! Let's go. I hear upstairs. I hear him. I hear him. He's down. That was good. Good hit. Good hit. Originally announced back in 2009 during the middle years of Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, this game was set to release and tell the stories of the Marines during Operation Phantom Fury. But then it was cancelled by Konami. This is the story, in my opinion, on Six Days in Fallujah. Tonight we have a closer look at a graphic and violent video war game that is sparking outrage even before it arrives in stores. Instead of featuring a make-believe battle, this game offers a vivid depiction of one of the fiercest battles of the Iraq War, the fight for the city of Fallujah. And many U.S. military families say the game goes too far. Originally developed by Atomic Games, slated to release back in 20. 10 controversy started to surround the game amongst the feelings of families that were directly affected by the battle of fallujah both in iraq and in the united states even some british war veterans and a group called stop the war coalition wanted to go ahead and stop the game konami soon after then completely suspended their ties with atomic games and off they were set to find a new publisher april 27th 2009 was the official date that konami left and of the original 75 staff members from atomic games about a dozen were left after the split and apparently most of them weren't even developers years and years came and went layoffs ign in 2010 stating that the game was not canceled and in 2018 the president of atomic games peter tampt stated that the game was definitely not canceled and remains very important to the studio so in 2021 victura a company originally founded by peter back in 2016 would lead the publishing of the game while Highwire, a brand new developer team, would come and join and be contracted as the main developers. Fast forward to 2023, and as of now, on June 22nd, the game is set to release, and I got my hands on it pretty early. I was able to get some games in with Tactic Gamer, Big Fry TV, and Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and from the rounds that we played and getting our feet wet and our hands dirty, it took some time getting used to the mechanics of the game and slowing down. But the only game mode that we were able to play was the firefight mission called Clear Block with some beta access build that we were able to play. I was only able to play it within certain parameters, such as setting the time to afternoon and the weather to windy, even though there are clearly other ones. So just know that things would have changed by June 22nd when you guys finally get your hand on the game. Let's also break this down. And I will say again, starting from the beginning and working our way towards the end, the UI for the menu was, nah, it was decent, nothing to write home about, and the one thing we couldn't choose was our roles. Now, I know people were expecting to maybe change your loadout and maybe customize your weapons. Well, this isn't that kind of game. You only get basic M16s of maybe an M203 grenade launcher, maybe an ACOG, the M249 saw, a shotgun, and an M9 with a flashlight that the saw gunner has access to. Now all the M16s have flashlights and so does the shotgun and whoever has the shotgun has a secondary weapon of just a standard bare bones M16. The one thing I thought that was weird about the loadouts was the roles that were randomly given. In my opinion, what should be changed is that the player has access to choose what role he fills. So since there's four spots, four roles, each player has to fill those roles or you don't start the mission and you are only able to take the assigned loadout for that role. That way you know what you're going in with, which was the issue that we kept running into every time we had to go ahead and restart the mission. Now, entering the game for the first time, you are giving a little cutscene, basically giving a little background information to what the objective is, 
location, and the unit you are playing as. Pretty basic in terms of mission objectives, but now where the game really and truly shines is in the audio and the gunplay. The sounds of gunfire inside buildings, the mortars falling down, to even your own voice echoing off interior walls and rooms, and having to effectively and safely use your radio in order to cut through the sounds of chaos and concrete to convey messages to your own teammates. Now, again, as far as objectives go, I have to remind you again that this is a creator build only. So a lot of things were blocked off until the release, including a campaign mode, which is definitely needed in order to effectively tell the story of the third battalion, first Marines in the battle of Fallujah, which basically this whole game is about. Now, the actual objective we had to get ourselves through was getting into a block of small buildings and getting to the headquarters in order to take down a flag and then holding that position until backup arrived. Now, instead of just talking about it, I'm going to show you a mission run through that me and the guys went on and show you just how chaotic, intense and immersive this game can be when you finally get the hang of it, because I will say this game does not hold your hand. Also, I just wanted to quickly say thank you to all of you guys for over 5,000 subs, and I will be hosting a live stream Monday morning at 8 a.m. EST to answer questions, play some games, and just hang out with you all. So hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, check out the Discord, and enjoy the gameplay. Until convoy arrives with resupply. Find that mortar team and get that fucking dealt with as soon as possible. Roger, it's on the same uh, rooftop, yellow. I see, I see the tubes. Yeah, I see it. Let's get there. Let's get there quick. Yeah, I'll cover you. Alright, we're moving. Five ash in the cross. Far left, far left. Hang on, I'm hit. They can cover. Woo! Let's go! I got one, two, three. Buzz, well, where you at? There you go. Okay. All right, run is coming in. Let's go. Coming in. That's crazy. Is everyone in here now? Yeah, we're all in. I'm up top, that's me, Blue. Blue, Blue you and me, keep moving. All right, I got the staircase leads to the rooftop here. I got you covered. They're gonna try to come through here. One down. Two down. Piece of shit. Yeah, I'm pushing out. I think this door goes outside. All right, take him out, take him out. Rooftop is clear. Fuck your mortars. Taking over mortars. Taking real good. Yeah. All right, mortars taken care of. Where are we, where, Everyone check ammo. Where are we looking? Sh uh, straight ahead. Uh, Past the blue balcony. You I'm see the flag? There. The the Not the dome building. No, it's uh, real close. See the red oh. balcony building, right? On the left side of that. Yeah. Yeah, we're looking for that flag there. Yeah. That's the flag. Right. I'm going to come up, give you guys cover. Right. Yeah, we're just kind of just overlooking real quick, just seeing the situation around us. Shots from the east. Got one. Okay, good. I got two. Bottom floor is still clear. It's uh, we'll exit this door, follow the wall, basically the heads uh, south, and find a way into the compound. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. I believe they're on the other side of that wall. Uh, right over there. Yeah, on the right, on the right, yeah. Seems like a bad idea. I'm over. Yeah, how long that animation Hold, is. hold, look up and hold F. Alright, 
Come on, get over. The gaze here, multiple in the building behind you. Yeah, uh, climb over quickly. On the other side. Coming over now. All right. Oh, I saw the bullets up by your head. All right, let's clear this room on the right. Let's clear this room on the right. Fry uh, on you. I did my best Neo imitation. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> I hear upstairs. I hear him. I hear him. He's down. On the right. Nice. Good job. Good job. All right, let's go. Push left. Push left. Push left. Reloading. There's one in there. Right. We got contacts outside we're dealing with. Roger. Roger, we're inside now, first floor. Let's go, let's go. I'm pushing that. One down. You're clear up here. We'll come down the other side because I know there's another stairwell down over there. Raj. A lot of rooms here. Second, uh, I found the staircase that leads up to the rooftop. Okay. Why does that sound like a sniper? I got eyes on the flag. Yeah, I'm not going to take down the flag until you guys got, yeah, got a good position to hold. There's only one, two staircase that moves up. Sorry, actually, there's three staircases, actually. Where's the third? By Fry. I think that leads down to the uh, balcony, actually. Yeah, exterior. So we got Fry still up on the roof? Yeah, I'm right here, I'm right here. Okay, so I got this front stairwell. I'm peeking it right now. All right, on you. And there's a stairwell, there's a stairwell over to the left. I'm gonna That's what I was watching, yeah. Right okay, so. Here, I'll go, I'll go exterior, I'll go exterior. Getting shot at from somewhere. Back to you up. Good job, boys. Nice. Copy that, third squad. We got a human team en route to soak up the intel.